Okay, you guys, I cannot believe I'm making this video. Okay, here we go. Hi, you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, if any of you are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 10, three, and two, and I'm in my second year of homeschooling. So you guys, I have been on the struggle bus this whole year as far as homeschooling math curriculum, and I'm going to be very transparent in today's video. You guys, I've recently made my mid-year homeschool curriculum update, and I talked about all of the curriculum that was going to be staying in 2020. 21 and the curriculum that was going to be coming into 2022. However, after me personally watching that curriculum uh, review video, I decided to leave a few more things in 2021. Um, if you guys did watch that video, uh, if you have seen uh, just, I was personally not in love with either one of the math curriculum choices that we were using. Um, I was trying to mesh it together, trying to make it work, trying to be consistent. However, I think it comes to a point where it's time to let something go. And I really feel like I have made the best decision by letting both of these math curriculums go. However, um, I wanna go ahead and go over my brief review and my brief reasons why I decided to dump both of these curriculums and choose the new math curriculum that we are using and so far so good I don't want to uh, speak too soon on it but so far uh, our new curriculum choice has been working out for us so you guys we started off the year using a Becca Arithmetic 4. I did a Becca Arithmetic 3 with my daughter uh, in our first year of homeschooling and it went very, very well. Um, so we just went on to the next level. So you guys, right here in my phone, I'm gonna go briefly over my pros and my cons about a Becca Arithmetic 4. So my pros is I love a Becca spiral approach to math. I love how they introduce a new concept. However, they still put that good built-in review of older concepts uh, to be practiced and mastered throughout their curriculum. Another thing I love about a Becca is that it's straightforward, it's to the point, it's simple, you get your math problems, you're done. And my daughter loved that aspect about a Becca as well. Another one of my pros about Abeka, you guys, is that I really, really enjoy this speed drill and test workbook. Um, my daughter was actually able to master all of her multiplication, division facts, reducing fractions. It was so many things she was able to master last year in the Abeka Arithmetic 3 speed drills just by doing these simple uh, drills every single day. You guys, I made them really, really fun for my daughter. Uh, I would put a sticker on them. I would give her candy after she got a speed drill done so I really made that aspect fun and I really feel like that was the reason why she was able to master those division multiplication facts and simple reducing of fractions by using those speed drills so I really love um, that booklet another thing I love about Abeka is that it has so much built-in um, supplemental practice so if it is a concept we need to practice on I can go on the back use the supplemental practice I was actually able to use the supplemental practice worksheets for like summer review for my daughter uh, this past summer and it was amazing I didn't have to go out and buy any like summer math workbooks I was able to just use the rest of what I already had and I really feel like I got my money's worth out of that Abeka arithmetic 3 uh, workbook so those are uh, my pros my cons about the Abeka arithmetic is that I personally did not like the lesson plan um, set up for the Abeka Arithmetic. When we did Abeka Arithmetic 3, I felt very confident not using the lesson plans. And first, and another reason too, is that it was my first year of homeschooling and I really didn't have the funds to uh, splurge on getting the lesson plan book. I really had to focus on getting all of my curriculum and really getting all of the things to start up our homeschool. So buying the lesson plans was just not a part of our budget for my first year of homeschooling. So I kind of just went without. However, going into my second year, I felt like I needed these lesson plans, especially when we got to difficult concepts and I was seeing my daughter struggle with Anna Becca Arithmetic 4. I went ahead and got this. I found this one used, you guys, so it was very affordable. I didn't pay like the full price, so I'm really happy about that. However, um, just the, the lesson plans, it really didn't give me the instruction that I was looking for to teaching her the concepts. So uh, we ended up like, or I ended up like ditching this lesson plan book and I just went back to using the uh, workbook problems where it has the explanation on it um, to teach my daughter the math concepts. But when that wasn't working anymore, we were uh, hitting some roadblocks with the math. Um, 
that was when I decided to go ahead and supplement the Abeka um, Arithmetic. So um, my last thing about Abeka that I felt like was a big con for me was that I really feel like the uh, the math in the Abeka Arithmetic 4, it advances way too quickly uh, for the mastery of these particular items. Um, and that really wasn't my focus in my homeschool, just to continue to push my daughter when she wasn't ready to learn those concepts. I mean, fourth grade, I feel like is a really, really um, hard point with math because you're taking these simple instructions with math, this simple addition, and you're bringing in these problems with these next multi steps. And I really feel like fourth grade is when math becomes challenging. And I didn't want to just continue to like push 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 my daughter when she wasn't grasping it so um like i said before that's what led me to wanting to start to supplement the abeka i wasn't ready to completely let it go uh however i was willing to pause it supplement it slow it down so i decided to go ahead and print off the simply good and beautiful uh, math arithmetic or math four and supplement it so i was do we were doing two to three Abeka Arithmetic four lessons a week and I was doing two of the Simply Good and Beautiful lessons a week. Kind of just to like break it up. So either we would do three and two one week or two and three of the next week, just to break it up to slow down that math for her. Uh, one thing I can say about my pros with the Simply Good and Beautiful math is that I love the the video lesson aspect of it. I never was able to experience uh, video lessons and I didn't realize that that was gonna be something I really enjoyed having in my homeschool. I mean, having my two toddlers, they're definitely busy. It was really easy for me to get my daughter set up with math, uh, let her watch her video lesson. I was able to get my two toddlers set up with whatever they need to get set up. So when it came time for me to make sure she understood that concept from the video lesson, um, it was really like a smooth transition. So that was just something that I never knew I needed and wanted in my homeschool when it came to uh, math. So that's definitely one of my pros. The videos in the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 4, I will say they're very interesting. They're very engaging. I did like how they took real life math concepts and they uh, related it to every day. I mean, sometimes a kid needs to see how and when I'm going to use this math and why is it really important to me. And I really feel like the video lessons in the Simply Good and Beautiful Math it really explained that very, very well. My cons about the Simply Good and Beautiful Math is that I really felt like it didn't give the child enough supplemental and uh, practice to really truly master certain concepts. And honestly, that just might be personal to my daughter. You guys, my daughter is just a type of kid that kind of needs that drill and kill. And I really feel bad to say it, but I mean, every kid is different, but my daughter definitely needs that repetition. She needs that extra practice uh, before she truly feels confident in that concept. And that's just something that I learned about her. And I believe that's why the Abeka worked out so well for her uh, in the third grade. Uh, was because it gave her that uh, practice. However, the Simply Good and Beautiful, it doesn't give that good spiral practice of concepts. Uh, if it mentioned, or if they would do a review of a concept, they will only do it in a few lessons until the next one was uh, brought back up. Now to some kid that does advance quickly in math that can grasp the concepts, they may be perfectly fine with the amount of practice problems in the Simply Good and Beautiful Math. However, again, my daughter, she's just not that kid. Um, Another thing that I didn't like about the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 4 was that it had a still a heavy focus on the mastery of multiplication facts. And in fourth grade math, personally, I feel like um, multiplication facts should be mastered at this point. Um, maybe it's just the scope and sequence of the Simply Good and Beautiful Math and how their curriculum progresses versus uh, Abeka and how they progress. I just felt like uh, my daughter already mastered those skills. I would have preferred to see more um, multi-digit addition, multi-digit um, subtraction, even multi-digit multiplication uh, in that extra practice instead of the multiplication and maybe take out that multiplication and put it into some like type of speed drill format um, to give those kids still the review of uh, practice problems that they need to uh, master in the fourth grade. And again, that just might be uh, my personal opinion about the, pers the curriculum and uh, yeah. 
But I will say this, after looking up my state standards for the state of Georgia, um, the Simply Good and Beautiful Math for it actually met most of the standards for Georgia's math in the fourth grade. So um, maybe from coming from such an advanced curriculum, uh, maybe that's just why it wasn't providing my daughter with the amount of practice and uh, work that I was personally looking for. So um, yeah, so those are my pros and my cons to the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 4. So you guys, <laughs> as you can see, uh, I had two curriculums, like I said before, that I ultimately was not in love with. So um, I just went ahead and I decided, like I said before, just to drop it um, and go ahead and uh, start my fifth grade math. So you guys, if you know this already, I am on a no curriculum by year. Uh, I am not buying or purchasing any more curriculum for my kids. Last year, I purchased all the curriculum that I needed for my daughter's fifth grade year and for my uh, three-year-old who will be four really, really soon for her pre-K or TK year. So I already have all of those curriculum selections picked out and I knew I was not going to be bringing Simply Good and Beautiful Math or a Becca into our fifth grade year. So I decided to go ahead and pull off on our shelf our fifth grade math and our fifth grade math that we are doing is actually Saxon. <laughs> some of you guys may be surprised, some of you may not, uh, but I decided to go with Saxon. Everything that I was looking for in a curriculum, uh, I feel like Saxon gave it to me. It gives me the, um, it gives me the instruction that I need to uh, teach my daughter the concepts. I feel like it's very thorough in that. It has the mental math component that I love from the Simply Good and Beautiful Math that a Becca Arithmetic 4 didn't have. So I really feel like um, Saxon is really giving me everything that I really was looking for in a curriculum and that's why I chose it for my daughter's fifth grade year. I gave my daughter the placement test for Saxon and you guys, after using a Becca Arithmetic 3 and half of a Becca Arithmetic 4, we ended off on a Becca Arithmetic in less than I believe 55 of 170 she actually tested into Saxon 76 so <laughs> as you guys can see I have both of the curriculums here she oh you guys I forgot to mention I actually purchased both of these Saxons used from amazon.com and I got both of the sets of Saxon for $60 Saxon is very expensive this curriculum costs like a hundred bucks per grade level so if you want to try out Saxon or any type of curriculum always shop use that's how you're able to save money and yeah let's get back to the video she tested into this one however just after um looking through saxon 7 6 when it was in my hands i kind of felt like just for maturity wise i wasn't ready to put my daughter in this uh saxon 7 6 even though she placed into it i felt more confident and comfortable putting her into Saxon 6.5. So um, she has started Saxon 6.5 and along with Saxon 6.5, we are also utilizing Nicole the Math Lady. And I originally heard about Nicole the Math Lady from, um, I forgot her name, but her channel is called uh, My Cathedral Garden. I originally heard about uh, Nicole the Math Lady from her and I looked it up because I knew at that point I was no longer happy with my math curriculum and I knew I wanted to have like video lessons in my math and that was important to me so um so far you guys I will say we are only like one week into Saxon 6-5 however my daughter she really said she enjoys it she says that she likes the video lessons and prefers Nicole's math the math lady video lessons over the good and the beautiful's math lessons and I asked her why and she told me the only reason why she prefers it is she likes it to get straight to the point so my daughter is probably just a no fluff type of girl she just wants to get straight to the math problems and um i'm happy we have switched to saxon my goal for saxon you guys is to continue it throughout her homeschooling uh years and journey and i want to continue to utilize nicole the math lady um so i really feel like i can't give you guys like a thorough review of saxon because we are very 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 fresh in it however uh so far uh so good and i really feel like um she's thriving very very well with saxon um 
any gaps that I feel like I might be nervous about, I feel like Saxon is going to fill in those gaps. However, I'm actually not as nervous as I am about gaps because I just could not believe she tested so well uh, within Saxon. So um, I guess uh, we're okay. We're just going to stick with this and stick with our math journey. I'm really happy that I found the math curriculum that I feel like my daughter, she looks forward to. Uh, she comes in our homeschooling room early in the morning uh, she turns on her Nicole the math lady she does um, her lesson practice um, one thing I will say is that Saxon does have like a lot of practice but when you uh, do the video lessons for the Nicole the math lady you can select whether you want your child to do all the problems within Saxon or the evens or the odds so I just chose evens on even days and odds on odd days um, and if I do see she needs additional practice then um, after I check her work we can kind of do those problems together so I am uh, really loving how uh, Nicole the math lady offers that uh, to simplify Saxon um, but so far you guys so good I think I found what is working for my daughter um, my daughter uh, she struggles with math when it comes to the introduction of concepts and really grasping them but I feel like once she has that she's like flying so um, I think that Saxon is going to provide her uh, with what she needs. So you guys, I can't wait to give you uh, more updates on our math journey and more updates on Saxon as we get further along into it. Um, so yeah. So you guys, this is today's video. This is our homeschooling math journey for this year. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you can kind of take away anything from this video. And um, if it's one thing I do want you guys to take away from this video is if it's not working for you, just drop it. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. All that matters is what's going to work out for your babies in your homeschool. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.